The concept of time capsules has always interested me. It's a really simple but cool thing. You just put stuff in a capsule and then you open it in the future. What's cool is that anyone can do this by burying items of their choice in their very own backyard. Opening it up many years later, you'd not only retrieve those old items, but also the memories that came with them. Time capsules become perfect remnants of the past for anyone who decides to bury one, but things escalated to a whole other level when we're talking Nickelodeon. All the way back in 1992, a very special event was being held at Nickelodeon Studios. They would take things voted by kids that were popular in the 90s, then place them in a special orange capsule that would not be touched or opened at all for exactly 50 years, which would mean April 30th, 2042. A large audience gathered here to celebrate and they watched along as an amazing piece of 90s history would be in the ground for years to come. Now the place they decided to bury this time capsule is honestly perfect. Tons of amazing live action shows and cartoons were produced at Nick Studios, so it seemed only fitting. The burying ceremony was hosted by Mike O'Malley, who also hosted Nick Guts, which was an old game show at the time. He began by hyping up the audience and giving them a good idea of what to expect, as well as talking about why time capsules are so special. We asked you kids because we wanted to show kids in the future what was important to us here in 1992, what was important to you. So what we got, we got the, a list of some of the things that you guys read off to us, we have They're a way to see what kids liked at a much earlier point in history, and how vastly things could change in the future. Mike directs everyone's attention towards a list of the items being buried in Nick's time capsule, including but not limited to, a piece of the Berlin Wall, a Michael Jackson CD, a classic Nicktoons t-shirt, movies like Back to the Future, and more. Since this all happened in 1992, obviously things were pretty different than today, which is exactly why time capsules are cool to look at in the first place. Back then, this is the kind of stuff that was popular. I mean, bubblegum was pretty big, yeah, and uh, roller skates, I guess. People, you liked roller skates? Okay, I'll admit, some of the items on this list felt a bit unnecessary, but I guess it's still interesting looking at the specifics of what people cared about, like what brand of roller skates or what brand of bubblegum. Soon after the list, Mike reveals special guest Vicky, who has an essential part in all this. She'll record the ceremony with her video camera, and it'll be the very last thing put in the time capsule. So are you ready? Yeah! Okay, step right over there, and we also have another special guest. Mike then introduces Joey Lawrence, star from the TV series Blossom, who brought a hat that just says, whoa. He clarifies that this is his catchphrase from the show. Right before the time capsule is lowered and plunged into the ground for 50 years, in a shocking twist nobody saw coming, a surprise guest makes his DeLorean entrance. Who is that? I have no idea, Mike. It's a DeLorean! A DeLorean! Who is that? Is it, uh, is it Michael J. Fox? I don't know who Michael it is. He's driving around here. That guy looks familiar. Oh, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Is that the real Dr. Emmett Brown from the Future Institute of Technology? It's Dr. Emmett Brown from the Future Institute of Technology. <laughs> Doc, what, what's the problem? What is it? Michael. Joy, thank goodness I got here in time. No, wait, he's not real. It's an imposter. But hey, at least there's some effort here, I guess. The three on stage go through a clearly planned dialogue, so it's like a real performance. Doc has come from 2042 and drops the biggest twist of the century. He reveals that in his time, there is no more Gak in the world. If you're sitting there now asking yourself, what's Gak? Then congrats, because that proves Doc's point entirely. This was a 90s thing, sort of like Nick Slime. I don't know much about it other than that it existed. Either way, it's still really cool that back in 1992, Doc was actually right when he said Gak would be completely gone. To end off the ceremony, the video camera was placed inside the capsule, then Joey covered it up, and finally, the moment came for it to lower. As that was happening, we got a heartwarming speech about the host from what'll happen 50 years later, when the capsule is eventually taken out of the ground. We hope by then that we have found solutions to our problems that our dreams have become realities, and that the concerned kids of 1992 have become the concerned adults of the year 2042. Hey Mike, I yeah, think Joey. the time capsule will really become a part of our history, huh? A big part of our history, Joey. That's right, and we're going to have a special plaque commemorating our time capsule for all visitors at Nickelodeon Studios here in Universal Studios in Florida. But our contents, the contents of this time capsule right here will remain untouched until April 30th, 2000. 
42. This whole event was really exciting. The audience as well as everyone watching at home could experience a moment in history. The capsule would remain untouched until 2042. But unfortunately, that's not how things went. You see, Nickelodeon Studios closed its doors in 2005, which caused a pretty big problem for the time capsule. Considering this was already the perfect place to bury it, people were wondering what would happen next. Since it should be somewhere on a Nick property, the next most fitting place had to be the very own Nick Hotel, which is exactly where it ended up moving that year. But in 2016, just when you thought the capsule had found its final burial place, history happened and Nick Hotel shut down. And I- oh! So even though at the original burying, Mike talked about how it would never be touched, that very thing happened two separate times when it was moved. You lied to me, Mike. I trusted you. The time capsule was relocated from the hotel to California, and according to the official Nick Animation Twitter account, it's in a courtyard of their Burbank studio where it sits today in 2019. For right now, all we can do is really wait for the day when this capsule is officially unburied and everyone can see ancient relics of the past. Okay, they're not actually ancient. Ancient, but a lot can change in 50 years. We are more than halfway until the day this time capsule is unburied. Only 23 more years to go. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.